the the National Basketball Association Commissioner Adam Silver uh, came out kind of out of the blue and and said that they they've dusted off their their talk about expansion that that the per, perhaps the NBA is more interested now in expansion than it was a year or more ago. Uh, have you had a chance to to speak with NBA Commissioner Adam Silver? I actually have, um, and I was able to speak to him right before Christmas after he made that announcement. You know, I've watched him. I've met him on a number of occasions. I actually was a, a guest of his at some games in New Orleans when I was down there for a conference. And I know a few things. Number one, the commissioner never gets ahead of the owners. And number two, if you want a city that wants a team, don't get ahead of either of them. Um, but it is very good news for the city of Seattle that they are thinking of an expansion team. And I was honest with him. He knows Seattle wants to be at the front of the line. We're where the team should be. Um, but we will be respecting their, uh, as they move forward, their ownership. Because the ownership, as you know, has to approve it. I mean, what, what did he tell you in terms of how real this is? Because it's gone from we're not interested in expansion right now to, uh, you know, we might talk about that in the near future. I think it's real, but I think, again, the commissioner is going to, you know, consult the ownership and the ownership for the first time itself is being very public that they think it is probably a good idea for basketball. Um, part of that is the COVID economics. Um, part of it is the economics of sports. Uh, but look, there's no city that I think is better positioned to be successful. We're going to have the best arena in the country. And I'm not just saying that when people walk in that building, they will be amazed. Um, we are a city that even with COVID, when we come out of COVID, we have so much upside here. Um, and this is a city that's gonna come back. We, we are a place that sh we already have a national championship basketball team that's in the NBA family. It's called the Storm. Um, they are amazing. I would like them to get a brother team here in Seattle. Um, and we have the Kraken, and the Kraken is going to hit the ice at the end of this year, just when we need to have another team to root for. So I'm pretty optimistic that the Sonics are in our future. It's not a done deal, but if if they move forward, Seattle be ready. Did he give you any indication on on just how far away they may be from from considering expansion? Are we talking, you know, within the next year? Are we talking about? 23, 24, 25 before they would uh, actually put a, an expansion team on the court? I think he's not going to get ahead of the ownership group and they've got to make the decision there first. Um, I think that him saying it publicly means that they're very seriously considering it. And if you look at how sports moves, um, I don't think it's going to be a, a long multi-year process. I think it could be a shorter process than that, but it might be, you know, more than one year. Um, I think first you got to get the ownership group in line and they've got to decide what an expansion team price could look like and, and how they choose the cities it goes to. Um, as we know, there's also teams that are underperforming in the NBA. So they have to look at the economics in those cities and make sure that the teams they have are competitive. Um, and so they've got to look top to bottom as they're coming out of COVID and went through a very different season than they had before. So how would you, how would you describe what that conversation was all about uh, between you and the, the commissioner? I think it was a very positive conversation. And I think he has said publicly that Seattle's at the top of the list. Look, if there's basketball karma, we'll get the Sonics. Um, if there's economics involved, we'll get the Sonics. If there's just smart, what's the best city in America, we'll get the Sonics. Um, so I'm pretty optimistic, but he's, you know, he is not gonna make a commitment. He's gonna be follow the ownership, um, and they're going to have a process in place. But once that process is set, um, I, I think that Seattle will be very competitive. And um, look, I want my kids and my grandkids to be able to watch the Sonics in Seattle. Last question on this is, have you, have you talked to any potential local ownership groups or any individual group that has said, hey, Mayor, we want to be, we want to be the group that, that brings home the Sonics? I have not had those conversations really since speaking with Commissioner Silver, but I've had them over the years. I'm kind of like, who would those people be? Um, I think that, you know, the ownership group of the Kraken has the best connections you could have in NBA basketball. You know, Tim Lewicki has been involved in a number of those organizations. They built this arena, so it's basketball NBA ready. Um, so I don't think that 
the right ownership group will necessarily be the obstacle. I think that um, getting the owners to the place where they're willing to do it, making it a price that is one that's market reasonable is gonna be the real challenge. And in the meantime, again, we're gonna have a new arena this year. We're gonna have the Kraken and the Storm. Um, and we've got the Seahawks, you know, that I'm hoping get to Tampa. <laughs>